Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about that stoneless stuff and how I made a calculator. Well, it only does the addition part here, but it's possible to make other parts as well. So the other day, I was scrolling through YouTube and found Kesos video about redstone alternatives, and it inspired me to make this video. Without further thought, let's get on this. So you all know that redstone can reach only 15 blocks, but signs on the other hand are truly infinite. They are instant and can be placed on top of each other, making them more viable. But the only drawback about them is that they are not reusable, which makes everything single use only. Now this contraption bears like a repeater. When I place a block next to the cactus, it's going to start a chain reaction. Cactus is also a built-in OR gate with 4 inputs on its side, which is honestly very useful. We can take output from the top like this to somewhere else. For an AND gate, we can use scaffolding. Scaffolding can go out till 6 blocks before falling. So we can just connect the two ends of the input and place our output on top of it. And it only breaks when both inputs are present. Now I have a challenge for you guys to figure out the outcomes of the inputs. Take your time and pause the video in 3, 2, 1. So when I place sand here, this sand falls out. And when I place sand here, this sand falls out. And when I place both of this, all sand falls out. Great, so now we have a better understanding of the basics. We can start thinking about addition. We know that doing addition in binary is easier than doing addition in decimal. Converting numbers in binary is really easy. You just extend the signs like this for the number of bits you want and then put sand on top of it where there is one and take or off all the 10 numbers. Well, you can split it in 3 characters where in first characters you put or of the 4 numbers and take the output to the second characters along with the 3 numbers and repeat it to the third characters. And there you have the or of the 10 numbers. Now just connect it all up and it should look something like this. There are many ways to do addition but the method I use for this one is called carry cancel adder CCA. What it does is it generates the carry and once we have the carry all we need to do is just take the XOR of the three numbers. Now to generate the carry the CCA method says that when there are two ones in your input a series of continuous one is going to generate on the left and when there are two zeros a series of continuous zeros is going to generate on the left and the number generated during this process is your carry but shifted to the right well the shifted part is easily manageable let's think about generating the carry we know that it generates ones when there are two ones so we can take end of the two inputs and we can extend it to the carry of the next cell which also means that we are gonna get carry from the previous cell now it doesn't matter when it's only one once as it's going to transfer the carry to the next cell the problematic part is when there are two zeros we need to stop sending carry ahead we can do it by first making an OR gate of the two inputs and taking end of the OR gate along with the input of the previous carry so let's say when there is any one input, then the OR gate will activate, which activates one of the AND inputs and to pass it on you need previous carry, otherwise it won't pass. Also when a carry is coming from behind but there are no ones here, therefore it won't activate the OR gate which won't activate the AND gate, which won't forward the carry ahead. Now stack these cells next to each other and a compact design looks like this. It does the same job of what this does. Now that we can generate the carry, we need to take the XOR of the two inputs along with the carry. Here is the truth table of the three inputted XOR gate. It's one only when there is only one one or all three inputs are one. We can use scaffolding to do most of our work. We can put sand for only ones like this and take all of the all three of them. 
and take it to the output. For all three, we can connect the scaffolding such that this space only falls when all three fall. That is, they are within six blocks from their three supports. And we can just take the output to the same OR gate for the output. Now the challenging part is how to detect when it's two ones. What we can do is first find the points where there are only two ones. So here there are two easy points where only two scaffolding can connect but it's just far for the third one to reach. We can extend the scaffolding and connect the two ends only. Now we can take all of these three inputs and we have detected for two ones only. Now we need to stop the output from going when there are two ones. So we can just do some repeaters here and when it detects the two ones it stops the output from going. To stop the output from going we can just break the point where the last sand is about to fall and that's it. Here is the more compact version of what I have made. Well after making this video there are many parts where this can be compacted even more but I am just too lazy to make the changes for it. Well we can now really do binary addition and don't forget to shift your carry output by 1. And let's do 5 plus 4 which is 101 and 100. And we get 1001 which is 9 perfect now this is the hardest part of all which is converting binary numbers back to decimal now this wasn't as easy as converting to binary what I had to do was consider each 32 case for sand to fall and stop the other sand from falling and then put that number into a 7 segment display for this it was similar to converting numbers to binary you need a point to break the segments and then extend the input signs to the corresponding points take the or of the other numbers and that's pretty much it it's huge for what it does but well i won't complain as it was my first time making a calculator as i never made one with redstone